Daniela's scholarship is worth about $300,000, and Tony, she says it's an education that will be wasted if she's deported to Mexico. Really fascinating stuff, Carter. And you said more than 250 college and university presidents have signed a statement calling for the continuation and expansion of this program. That seems like a big number to me, but what impact is that statement going to have in the real world? Well, you know, in the real world, it's just words. I mean, essentially what they're doing is asking the administration to take, the future administration, to take another look at this program uh, before they decide to do away with it entirely. But really, at that point, it's just a letter. And you know, as you noted, uh, Trump said that he will do away. Back on the campaign trail, he said he would do away with the deferred mm -hmm. action uh, program, which allows people who are undocumented to come forward, uh, register, and stay in the country. What steps are schools recommending students take if he, in fact, follows through and removes the DACA program? So the DACA program allows them to legally obtain work, go to school, and also travel abroad. So a lot of these students are in schools right now, and they're studying overseas. And what schools all over the country right now are recommending that they do is that they immediately travel back to the U.S. from those foreign countries that they're in, and they do so before January 20th because there are no guarantees that they'll be allowed back into the country after then. Wow. Uh, elections do have consequences. Two kids are already coming back from study abroad programs at the recommendation of their university in anticipation of this potential change? That's the plan. They're telling them to come back because they just cannot guarantee what President-elect Trump will do after inauguration. All right. Carter Evans, thank you very much.